Some 10,000 people gathered in central Moscow for a protest organized by the Communist Party. They oppose the government's plan to raise the pension age. Critics here say the changes won't just have a negative impact on the old. Younger generations will likely have a harder time finding jobs as older employees keep working longer. The reforms put forward will take away normal pensions for women and future jobs from young people. One in four youths is unemployed, and one in three can't find work that suits their qualifications. For weeks, the Communist Party has been pushing for a countrywide referendum on the issue. But the Kremlin has ignored their attempts, angering many. Our people are working and setting aside money for our retirement like the government wants. What right do they have to take that away? I am 88 years old and still have to work part-time because we don't have money for meat and sausage. That is disgraceful. Putin and his colleagues should at least resign or be prosecuted in court. The whole lot of them should be taken to court. Polls show more than 80% of Russians oppose Putin's reform. There are plans for further protests from other political parties. In a national address on Wednesday, President Putin finally weighed in on Russia's debate about pension reform. Mr. Putin watered down some of the most controversial aspects of the government's current plans. Most people I spoke to on this demonstration were not impressed by President Putin's concessions, to say the least.